Persona 3 Reload is a perfect game for people that don't have friends to hang out with on Friday nights. Including me. With that, I'll be making something everybody wants. People to stop making. Another tier list of the Persona 3 Reload social links. Before I get started, let me just give a quick rundown of all the tiers. It's just so peak, pretty self-explanatory. It's just so peak. Some of them left me nearly in tears by the end. Pretty good. Nothing too special about it, but hey, it was pretty good. Funny, it was it was okay, but it made me laugh, so that's all that matters. We have meh, yeah, just meh, mid. Nothing really special about it, kinda. Not boring, but not that entertaining. Funny bad, it was bad, but hey, at least it was funny. Lastly, we have why. Why did they make this? Of course, this goes without saying, spoiler warning, I won't be talking about the main story, but each of these social links I will be talking about. Starting off the list, we have Kenji, the man that wants to bang his teacher. His was honestly okay, so I'll just put it in funny. It was just about him ranting about how much he wants to bang his teacher, and then... Oh, well, at the end, he became a better man, at the cost of heartbreak. So there's that. Next, we have Akinari. Now, he can calm off as whiny a bit of the time, but it's to be expected, the man is literally dying. But his interaction with the main character was just so wholesome. And, oh man, at the very end, the final day when he talked to his mother, ooh, that, that brought some tears to my eye. Next, we have Odigiri. Uh, I honestly don't know where to put him. It was mm, kind of meh for most of it, but... Uh, I'll, mm, I'll put it in pretty good. Well, he was... Maybe not a bit, a very big asshat at the very beginning of his social link. He grew a lot at the end, especially when you realize that, oh, he's just a good kid that wants, you know, people to make good decisions. While he is annoying, he came through at the end, and honestly, yeah, he's pretty good, I guess. Next we have Bebe. Sorry, I, I did not finish his social link. It, it was pretty funny, I guess. Honestly, yeah, pretty funny. But I didn't finish it, so I can't really talk about it. I did get to the part where his aunt died, so... I mean, that part probably was good, but... I'll finish in the next playthrough. Next, we have Chihiro, or Justice, our student council treasurer. It was... Mm, it was... Mm, it, it was meh, honestly. It was pretty meh. She was a cool character, and I'm glad she developed at the end, but a lot of it, I won't lie, I kind of, I forgot how the main story went, and I definitely suspected that she stole all the money. <laughs> but, eh, yeah, no, I'll put her in funny. Seeing her develop throughout the social link was pretty good. Next we have Kazushi. I'm putting this in funny bad. <laughs> he is annoying, but he has a good heart. I also don't like that the social link makes you basically go suck it up, put be a man, and just telling him to ruin his knee. But hey, he's doing it for a good cause, I guess. But yeah, just enabling him the entire social link kind of sucks. But hey, it was funny. Next up, we have KSK, another social link that I didn't finish. Honestly, it was pretty cool, but like I said, I didn't finish it. I got to the part where he wanted to join the art competition and stick it up to his father. So that was pretty nice, but. I didn't finish it, so I can't really say much about it. Then we have Maiko. Ooh, ooh, this one, honest, mm, pretty good. Mm, 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 mm. Honestly, it was pretty peak. I don't have divorced parents, thankfully, but every time she was on screen, oh man, it brought tears to my eye just seeing this little child go through the most horrendous shit. Honestly, though, hmm, I think I put it in pretty good because a lot of it is the main character just enabling her to run away and. Yeah, if it weren't for the choices, it would be peak, but yeah, I'll put in pretty good. Next up, we have the Hierophant. Honestly, Bunkichi and Mitsuko, or whatever their names, I'll put them in pretty good. Their story with their dead son was heartwarming, definitely brought a tear to my eye, and eh, they're just a sweet couple. Pretty good. Next, we have Butatsu. Oh, uh, yeah, nothing, not that special, but it was funny. Yeah, seeing this old man go through his relationship troubles was pretty funny. And he, hey, at the very end, he made up with his wife and kid, so yeah, that's pretty good. Oh, okay. 
Next we have Nozomi, or Tsuimitsu, fat boy. Uh, why? Just why? I did not enjoy it at all. I mean, at the very end, the very, like, the very last rank, or maybe two, he grew, I guess, and yeah, he grew, but for the most of it, it was just, man, we are really just letting this piece of shit scam people, and yeah, I'm just not getting into it. Yeah, no, it's just, it's just why, why? They could have made it so much better. Talk about more of his dead brother, talk about his inferiority complex, but no, we just get to see him be, be a dick. <laughs> Next we have Tanaka. It's just funny, honestly. Not bad, not that great, but it was funny just seeing him with all his insults on If you don't keep your end of the promise, I'm going to ring your doorbell every night. Yeah, it was pretty funny. He kind of grew at the end, I guess. Find out, Found out that he had a heart. But overall, yeah, nah, it was okay. It was funny. Next we have ooh, Mamoru Hayase. Honestly, I put this man in peak. Him, like... You weren't enabling him, you were just helping him along. He was worried about his mother, he was trying to do everything for his family. He was just such a great character, so much more than the other track boy. But honestly, yeah, I, I loved his social link. I thought it was just going to be like Kazushi Rehash 2.0, but he, man, his story was pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. But, uh, it's, hmm. No, nah, it was peak, it was peak. Next we have... We have Maya. It was funny. Not nothing too special. Seeing the 2000s lingo with the XD RAR type stuff definitely was cringe, but it was a blast from the past, and it was pretty funny. But it also made up for the end when, at the very last day, when you find out that it's your teacher and she has a full meltdown, finding out that she said all that stuff to you. Oh, that was great. Honestly, yeah, it was funny. Not that great, but funny. Next on the list, we have Yuko. Yuko, honestly, pretty good. Seeing her with the kids, just finding out her purpose in her life, just seeing all that development with her was it's pretty good, pretty good. Not peak, but I liked it. I liked her decisions, and you weren't you were being a yes man, but you weren't enabling her bad decisions. You were just being like, yeah, you got this. You're being a good friend. That's what you were doing. All right, next up we have Fuka. Hmm, I'm tempted to put it between pretty good and funny. It was funny in the sense that... Sorry, I just got distracted. I, I don't know why the C's members are so small, but I guess here we are. Anyways, Fuka, it was funny seeing her feed you poison half the time, but uh, yeah, seeing her develop into an independent character that just wants to help her friends out for no other reason because she's a kind person, yeah, pretty good. Next up we have Yukari. Oh yeah, I should say this is just a social link. This is not reflective of my thoughts on the character outside in the main story, but just the social link itself. Yukari, hmm, honestly, it was it was okay, helping her get over her her mother issues, her mommy issues. Honestly, it was hmm, honestly kind of meh. Helping her was great, seeing her rely on you was great, but her. Her main story interaction is just so much better than her social link. Maybe I'll change my mind, but for now I'll put her in meh. Ooh, the last two, my favorite. Mm. I guess it's just so peak. It's just so peak. Ooh, I guess is probably my favorite character in the entire game, especially the last month. But her social link, it was, it was pretty good. Now I'm trying, I'm trying to differentiate the social link between her character, but okay, yeah, honestly. Her character, I think her character's peak, but her social link... Nah, nah, it's peak. Seeing her develop into a, an actual person, just learning about everything. Just seeing her find out what the meaning of life is in her social link. It was, it was just great. Just seeing her devotion, oh. Top tier character, and top tier social link. And lastly, we have Mitsuru. Hmm, honestly, pretty good. Seeing her become an independent woman, being able to help her with that, and I won't lie, she was the one I romanced in my playthrough. She was just strong-headed, and finding out that she's just a normal person with normal wants and needs. She's not just a rich, stuck-up snob, but you find that out early in the story. But just knowing that she has her own struggles, and she just wants to be a normal person. It just hits home, and especially the fact that it comes after her... Uh... Spoiler alert, 
Her dad dies. Spoiler it over. It, yeah, it was just a good social link. And there we have it! All the social links in Persona 3 Reload ranked. Now, as you can see, I did not include the mandatory ones, such as Pharaohs, the Seas, and Judgment, because that's just more story related and less the choice of the player, so I didn't include them. Anyways, it was a bit of a different video, but I just finished Persona 3 Reload yesterday, last night, and I was bawling my eyes out! So what better time to make a video on Persona 3 than right now? Anyways, I will be making a full video on Persona 3 Reload soon, so... Subscribe! <laughs> I'm Julius Sky, and thanks for dropping by.